Good morning, beautiful souls. Happy Monday. It's bank holiday, Easter bank holiday in the UK, and I hope you all had a lovely Easter weekend, however you celebrate it in whatever part of the world. And what a full moon. <laughs> that Libra full moon the other night. It's um, They've been creeping up on me recently, the full moons. As usually, there's so much other stuff going on in the fields all the time that the full moons when they arrive it's like oh wow okay brightest moon of the year and um funny enough it was in my 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 moon is in libra so it's particularly powerful i really felt the flex the balancing out the scales and the scales do need balancing don't they now i had a little bit of a conversation with Merlin last night and I've been working intermittently or going through phases of working with Merlin for years years in fact he's he's stepped forwards as one of my guides although I did not recognize him as my guide at the time right back in 1998 I think it was or 1999 and from that point so he comes in and delivers information about what needs to happen now we've got another what is it april may june july or for another four months of events occurring that are being affected by the storm layer around this planet so i want to do a little bit of a meditation this morning to place anything that it's no longer necessary around us energetically into the storm layer. Now, for those of you that are going storm layer, what's that? Um, I first began to post about it, or I was first given the information in 2019, Lionsgate 2019, that Merlin and the Intergalactic Council had set up a cyclonic field of energy around the planet that vibrates at a fourth dimensional frequency. And this moves almost like a, it has a tornado effect or like so you, you get anything of a lower vibration or a lower frequency, anything that needs clearing like stuff from the land, people's energy fields, more collective. So the storm layer has been clearing the collective kind of detrius from around the world. And when he showed it to me, I, I could see that it existed between the ground and, say, the sky, the sky. So it's invisible to the naked eye, but it's moving cyclonically very, very quickly. And with that movement, everything of a lower frequency that we would have a severe problem clearing gets sucked into the storm layer. We've only got another four months before the storm layer is collapsed and replaced by whatever they have planned next. So it's, do it's doing its job. It's been doing an, an amazing job. If you think about how much clearing that has been going on on the planet for the last two, three years, um, whatever we would have had to deal with if it wasn't for this, this, this incredible kind of... Um, the storm layer assistance would have probably been well beyond our capabilities and we would have felt a lot more burdened than we already do. It's been hard work, but it could have been a lot harder. So take a few moments to just tune in this morning because we're being invited to begin. It's almost like the last throw out of all of the remaining furniture. And I'm sure you can think of something around you that could do with releasing this morning. It's a little bit like letting off the final guy ropes, Merlin is saying. So on this beautiful Monday morning, take a few deep breaths, close your eyes and just begin to tune into your heart centre. Just begin the week with breathing, high vibration or attunement, balance, inner peace and love. Just breathe that into your heart centre, activate your heart centre. Exhale and feel your heart centre lighting up. There's a lot of additional Christ light around us this weekend as well. So just allow that to flood into your heart at this moment in time. Christ light is golden white light, but more predominantly gold. Very beautiful, a little bit like that light that's kind of hanging over my shoulder. 
So allow that to breathe that into your heart, your lungs. Feel it flooding through your body. Breathe in and become golden. As you exhale, feel your heart centre expanding. Let's do a little clearance on our bodies and fields. Feel your feet firmly on the floor, feel grounded. Send beautiful silver roots into Mother Earth. And allow your earth star to anchor you in. And just tune into this golden Christ light that's all around us. And feel physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, all of your bodies and fields <coughs> coming into alignment with each other. So your mental body might be scattered off, it might be somewhere else, it might be thinking about a person or a situation, which then projects your energy over into that, wherever it may be. Bring that back to you, bring your mental body back to you. Slow the spin. Feel the calm within your thoughts. Your emotional fields may be feeling a bit tattered from other people's energy. You might have been triggered by situations that are going on around you. The full moon might have got you. Just allow your emotional fields to fill with golden light. And just feel anything that doesn't belong to you just washing away. Feel the cells of your physical body literally vibrating with golden light. And then with a few deep breaths, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth, allow golden Christ light and your heart light to flood into your spiritual field all around you. Okay? And your spiritual field extends a long way. It goes from miles. Your fields extend for miles around you. Light those up gold and you are lighting up everything else around you with that same golden frequency of light. To so breathe in. Breathe out. And see everyone and everything, the trees, the houses, the plants, the land, the animals everything lighting up with vibrating bright golden light. Now in this anchored state of peace and calm just become aware now of Ascended Master Merlin standing next to you and he's smiling he's in his green and golden robes but with more of a, a golden element sewn, sewn, into his, sewn into his garments and he's releasing things, or what looks like he, objects, or bits of furniture, or balls of energy that are guy roped to the floor. Now these are the, these are the remnants. This is stuck energy that has been held within the land for years, decades, millennia. Everything's being drawn to the surface deliberately with this, the cyclonic effects of the storm layer, which is whirling around the planet and has been for the past three years above our heads. Merlin working around you looks very busy this morning. He's busy just releasing objects and balls of energy and you can just see them being sucked up into the air to be completely immersed in this rotating layer of energy around the planet, the storm layer. And he's now asking you to help him. So just take a few deep breaths in now. Breathe more golden energy and light into your bodies and fields. And then assist Ascended Master Merlin in releasing anything from your life or from the land around you. It could be where you are, it could be where you are living, or it might be somewhere far away. The pair of you can travel there in your energy bodies and begin the releasing process. So what is it that you want to let go of this morning for yourself or for the planet 
or for the people around you. And remember, this is going anyway. We are just assisting the process. So as these objects or these energies rise up into the air, released from their bindings, to see them disappearing into the storm layer as it alchemizes everything of a lower frequency into a higher light. It is literally the fuel for the storm layer. So see this occurring around the planet, see this cyclonic motion and see you assisting Ascended Master Merlin in releasing the things that are still holding this planet back. To me, it is being shown as almost like balloon strings holding down balls of energy. Some of these are really large. They look dense and dark, and like they just need to go, but they're ready to be released. The very high frequency vibrations that are coming into this planet at the moment are bringing everything to the surface. So you will feel much lighter for this release. Just assist Ascended Master Merlin for as long as you like. And he's asking his dragons to get involved. So you might be surrounded by green and gold dragons happily releasing energies or objects from the land around you. You might have taken yourself to a sacred site or you might have taken yourself to the centre of the city, a busy city. Just go about your work peacefully, calmly. There's no hurry and just release whatever is being presented to you, anything that is visible. And as you are doing this, Merlin is explaining that the speed or the intensity of the storm layer between now and August is speeding up as it goes into the final stages before it disintegrates. So the cyclonic energy will increasingly draw energies that no longer serve us into the storm layer for release. To see all of this drawing dark energy, stuck energy, pockets of unresolved, unresolved karma, incidents that may have occurred like battles or skirmishes on the land, all of these leave an imprint. All of these imprints are being released and dissolved, so just allow this to occur. And as you are doing this, Merlin and the dragons are just happily cutting the cords and allowing these energies to sail up, to be dealt with by the storm layer. Merlin is explaining one more thing to you at this point. He's saying the storm layer has a certain vibration. If you are vibrating at the same frequency as the storm layer, you will feel very whipped around. This was explained to me in August 2019. In order to not get caught in it, you have to vibrate above it. Otherwise, our experience on this planet can be and has been very kind of turbulent, very cyclonic. So he's just explaining to you why it is so important to always keep your vibration as high as possible, not to get caught up in the 3D matters that are concerning other people, but to just aim as high as possible and stay relaxed and stay fluid. And more and more souls are joining the releasing process with you now. And seeing elves and fairies from the land, they are assisting Merlin. And more dragons of various different colours and sizes, earth dragons, fire dragons, air dragons, water dragons, undines and sylphs and salamanders, fire salamanders. Everyone is coming forward to assist with the releasing of the land. 
Okay, then now this is a bit, it looks like to me like it's turning into a bigger process than I originally thought. So you have been invited to a big release party. To see this beginning to accelerate now as more and more souls step forwards to assist with the clearing. Now you may either remain with this group for as long as you like in meditation this morning, or you can dip in and out, come backwards and forwards. But by my understanding, this will be going on for quite a while, maybe even months. So it's something that you can revisit or we can revisit whenever you want. So just continue working with Merlin, with the dragons, with the fairies, the unicorns are making their presences known now as well. All of the souls that love, protect and serve Mother Earth at the highest frequency. And many, many more are coming along now to release and dissolve this ongoing process. And the other aspect of Ascended Master Merlin, Ascended Master Saint Germain is stepping forwards now and he's holding in his hands the cosmic diamond violet flame, the lilac fire of source and the golden rainbow fire and he's just putting this through your bodies and fields. So just close your eyes and just feel the additional cleansing of the violet flame this morning. And with every release that is occurring, he is also placing quantities of the violet flame into the spaces from which these energies have been released. Now Merlin and Saint Germain and all of the souls are smiling at you. They place their hands upon their hearts and they thank you for your assistance on this beautiful day. And just remind you once again, that you can be there with them at any point, particularly over the next four months or so, because this work is ongoing. Sending you all so much love on this beautiful morning. I'm going to be doing the second event with Mere Calf Kiosk this coming Friday, this Thursday, sorry. Um, connecting to our soul family is going to be a powerful, powerful workshop that is advertised on my website. And um, I'd like to just give a little bit of a shout out. I'm doing my first live event on the 15th of May in Southampton, hosted by Jackie White. And the details of that, the spaces are limited. Um, the, the, the workshop is nearly full. So if you fancy coming along and you can get yourself to Bewley in the New Forest, then, then please sign up. I haven't presented live for over two years now. It'll be quite exciting. I've been hiding behind my screen for ages. Sending you so much love. Have a beautiful day. Have a beautiful week. See you on Friday. Bye-bye.